Hi from the Exhill Youth Awards. We're really excited to be here. We're in our seventh year and we've got loads of young people, over 300 from around the country, all here to show their films about smoking on the big screen. I'm excited to see my film because I feel like there was a lot of effort put into it and we all worked together and it was really like fun filming it and I feel like, I just feel really excited. I enjoyed well learning about how like bad smoking can be and I enjoyed the experience of filming the movie as well. The key goal of the Irish Cancer Society is to stop cancer and we know that smoking is the biggest cause of cancer. The Exhale programme is specifically designed to break our culture of smoking in Ireland. We're doing great work on that already, uh, but we know that if we don't make a change with young people, if young people continue to smoke, then we're not going to reach our goal of a tobacco-free Ireland. Exhale programme is leading the way in terms of empowering young people to deliver a smoke-free message in their community and to work with their peers and deliver um, that message around denormalisation. We want to see the next generation of young people grow up in an environment where smoking isn't the norm. Exhale works with a wide variety of different youth and community organisations. Young people aged 10 to 24 are invited to participate. Whether they're smokers or non-smokers, we want them to have the opportunity to learn about smoking topics in an engaging, uh, youth-friendly and non-judgmental way. When I start this Exhale programme, I was a smoker, but now I'm a non-smoker. It's more effective because when you learn all the facts about it, instead of somebody saying, oh, just give them up, like, like you, when you get into the programme then you find out the true facts about everything. I think the Exhale programme would help a lot of younger people because I don't think that they understand how dangerous it is to smoke. Ninety-one percent of participants said that they now understand more about the dangers of smoking as a result of taking part in Exhale. After that programme, after learning, like, even if you're not smoking, it can still affect you, so I wouldn't be around smoking. I'd never go back and the smoke again. It just made me realise that it can be very harmful to my body, no matter what my age is. Here, do you want a fight? Are you mad? I don't smoke. That's disgusting. In the future, I will never smoke and it's gonna be really hard, like, cause like say if you take a puff of one, it's get really addictive. So I'm just gonna keep it away from me. 87% of participants said that taking part in Exhale has strengthened their intention to stay smoke free or quit. When you hear peer pressure, it's almost never some guy saying, "Go on, go on." Will not like you if you do this. It's sometimes you're just hanging out with your friends, and they decide to stay back to have a smoke, and you don't want to be the other one out. But the main thing I think that had the impact for the kids was the peer pressure element that I want to draw on that in terms of putting a positive peer pressure in terms of motivating other young people to actually assist them and actually help them give up cigarettes because we thought that peer pressure can work both ways as well in positive rather than negative. Girls, we're sorry for ditching you for these stupid facts. We realise it's bad for us so we're going to quit. Friendship is far more important than smoking. Friends? Friends. 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 We all done it together. It wasn't just one at a time. Everybody stuck together and helped each other and supported each other. The programme gave me the knowledge to help my brother try to quit smoking. When I started the Exhale programme, I was smoking since I was 14 and I gave them up when I was 19. And I was telling my mum about the programme that we were doing, so she ended up giving up the smoke as well. The messages definitely stuck with me and I'd encourage my, all my friends not to smoke and try and give them up. You stop, Mike. Stop smoking before it changes your life for good. 88% of participants said that they would encourage others not to start smoking or quit as a result of taking part in Exhale. You learn things that you never knew before, like how much you'd spend of smoking. Like €4,000 is a lot of money and you'd waste that just from buying smokes alone. But I know it this costs a lot and the money could go towards much better things. To smoke is a joke. To smoke is a joke. To smoke is a joke. Don't be a part of this joke. 76% of Exhale participants said that they understand more about the financial cost of smoking 
after taking part. What I've learned about the tobacco industry is that they know what they're doing. They know that they're targeting young people, especially with the bright coloured packaging and it made me feel quite bitter about how they're targeting young people, especially like I wouldn't want my cousins getting involved with smoking and things like that and it made me not want to support them. It's very much marketed towards the young of today. I mean, if you get through your teen years and maybe like your early 20s and you don't smoke, chances are you're not going to start. So if you get them while you're young and you get them hooked while they're young, they're going to keep going. A 2013 evaluation of Exhale found the participants in the programme were significantly more likely than a sample of secondary school students to report advertising as an important factor that influences young people's decisions to start smoking. So the youth workers that we partner with through Exhale are doing an excellent job. So we provide them with training to increase their confidence and their skills around addressing smoking in their settings. That in turn gives them the ability to go away and to facilitate sessions with the young people that they work with so that they can go away and drive the movement towards a um, tobacco-free generation in their communities across Ireland. The Exhale training, I suppose, is very much based on that idea of examining attitudes, becoming confident in yourself to be able to make positive choices in your life around smoking. That fits really neatly in with how we work in YouthReach because all the time we're trying to help our young people develop their personal skills, their self-esteem and their confidence to be able to make good decisions in their lives. The film training really helped with, um, I suppose, breaking it down from smaller parts to um, each scene. Um, how to start it, how to finish it, and that was that helped when I was showing it to the young people then. Our survey found that youth workers from organisations that have taken part in Exhale were more confident in their ability to support young people to stay smoke free, to quit, and to empower young people to share messages about smoking. Organisations with previous Exhale involvement were also more likely to have a smoke free policy in place. The Exhale project is about supporting young people to have a structure in place to address the area of smoking, to explore, to start a conversation on it, to become aware, to gain a knowledge and to empower them to be able to make a decision. And that complements the Health Quality Mark because the Health Quality Mark is about supporting organisations to adopt a whole organisation approach to health promotion. So looking at the policy that you have in place and looking at the training that you have in place. We're very much uh, health promotion driven as an organisation so it fits in really well with our anti-smoking policy and also with the fact that we, we are very much youth participative led as well so it kind of balances out between the two, the youth participation, they very much take ownership of the project and they're pushing our health promotion agenda as well. Oh it has had a huge impact on the groups involved in delivering programmes and that for us is what it's about is the young people doing everything for themselves and learning from us. All the ideas came from us, all the research came from us. It was very much a youth project. The filming came from us. So unless you actually want to do it, you're not going to. There was no adult breathing down your neck state, which definitely makes it more of a, this is mine, I made this, I'm proud of this. I only started here when we were making the film. So I wasn't too friendly with people. Like I didn't know much people and I felt like it brought everyone closer together. Each year, the young people participating in Exhale take the lead in driving a smoke-free generation by running an online and community campaign. They maximise the reach of the smoke-free messages in their films by sharing their work online, writing blog pieces, doing radio interviews, submitting articles to newspapers, putting up posters and organising screenings and awareness raising events. I feel very proud of the achievement because like we had other, uh, other CTCs that came in to us and I stood up in front of them all and like told them about my story about when I used to be a smoker and then when I became, when I got off them then. Although it's a community level initiative, the programme is rolled out on a national scale and it's actually reached um, you know, globally as well. So we've seen the, um, you know, the, the films when they're shared on YouTube be picked up by media outlets as far away as Australia. So it's, it's fantastic to see such a far reaching impact and um, you know, spread of the messages that the young people have created through their films. Since 2012, young people taking part in Exhale have made over 225 films to encourage their peers to be smoke free. These youth-led resources are all available online. Get your flag out of your mountain, follow me, cause I'm gonna show you my life story honestly and properly. So listen up and listen close, otherwise your lungs will end up being decomposed.
The smoking rates in Ireland are decreasing amongst young people thanks to the work of all the young people who have got behind the Exhale programme. When we started it was uh, around 15% and now the rate is down to 8% which is really fantastic. We've still a bit more to do though because we know amongst some groups of young people that rate can be as high as 20% and that's why Exhale works specifically uh, in the communities where the rates are higher to work in partnership with the young people to find the solutions together of how we're going to bring that smoking rate down to 5% in 2025. My motivation from young people will carry on for when they get older and they can carry that on to if they have children and things like that. So this will uh, hopefully get spread down with the non-smokers which to uh, educate their children at such an age about how dangerous smoking is. Over the last seven years, thousands of young people have showed us that they can and will make Ireland's first tobacco-free generation a reality. Let's support them every step of the way and make sure no one gets left behind. Find out more about how you can be part of the movement at cancer.ie forward slash exhale.